Ni hao, everybody. This is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I am very, very excited today because I get to eat a whole bunch of Cuban-style food here in Taipei, Taiwan. I'm going for overall victory number 1,185, final win number three of this trip here in Taiwan. If I win today, it'll be total win number seven in Taiwan, but it is always great to be here. Hopefully we get to be back in the future, but we are all here at Este Dia. They've had this challenge for uh, pretty much just over a month now as of filming this. Many people have already tried, not too many winners. I've only got 30 short minutes to finish their Este Dia challenge. Now, I just call it that because it's not really a burger or a sandwich. It's just a whole mix of a whole bunch of Cuban style food. So the centerpiece of this thing is their double cheeseburger, which I am pumped about because I love strawberry jam, strawberry jelly preserves, all that stuff on my burgers. There is USDA uh, beef, so two different patties. There's a whole bunch of cheese, the strawberry jam, potato straws there, spicy jalapenos, we've got healthy onions, and then we've got four different Cuban style sandwiches. So I think most of the toppings are uh, similar throughout. There's a whole bunch of shredded cheese, which is a mix of mozzarella and cheddar. There's other sliced cheese, uh, there's pickles. All a lot of it is like Cuban style sandwiches, but there's four proteins. We've got salmon, uh, excited for that. We of course have a pork, Cuban sandwich, we've got chicken, and then we've got beef. So we've got a bunch of their fried cheesy mozzarella sticks, and then we've got some chicken wings with their hot sauce homemade here. We've also got a whole bunch of like chicken nuggets. Uh, these are boneless. And then we've got some battered fries on the bottom. And then this is actually part of the challenge. I could have gone with soda or whatever I wanted, pretty much 1.4 liters of orange juice just to get vitamin C uh, along with all this. But yeah, 30 minutes to finish. Whether you win or lose, you pay 1,500 Taiwanese dollars. It's right around 49 American dollars. Uh, but if I do win, I will get 2,000 NT. So I will profit uh, 500. So whew, let's also get our name and photo up on the wall of fame. Let's get this challenge started. All right, let's get win number three of this trip here in Taiwan. Big thank you to everybody here with Este Dia. But actually, the Taiwanese lady that we ate with yesterday, Xiao Hui, uh, she's got the record for this thing, just over 10 minutes, like 10 minutes and one second. We've got 30, we're gonna go for that. One, two, three, boom. All right, this Cuban flag out of here. Oh yeah, the bell has rung. Means we can go. Ooh, that beef is just how I want it. I forgot there's a spicy sauce on there too, but it's flavorful. Healthy pineapple as well. Ooh, not bad. Mmm, this is good too. When I signed up for this drink, I didn't know it was gonna be 1.4 liters. That's a lot of extra sugar. My waistline's not gonna be happy. Cause I mean, all of this itself is healthy. There's like nothing fried here at all. The burger did have healthy onions. Don't forget about that. The reason I'm actually most excited is the bread. The owners here at Estadia, they used to actually own a bakery uh, before they opened this place. So they home make all the bread themselves here. This is gonna be good. What am I starting out with? This is the pork. Yeah, this is straight up gangster Cuban. We've got the, the green stuff. There is yellow mustard on there. Ooh, let's dig in. Mmm. Oh yeah.
These are moist and nice. Six minutes, 45 seconds in. Shahue would get real upset if I beat two of her records while here, so we're gonna let her keep this one. <laughs> I take it as a difference in translation, but Xiao Hui's team yesterday said next time we come back to Taiwan, we can all collaborate and we can maybe pick something we're better at. <laughs> because she beat us so bad on the ramen. I was still proud of that time. 14 minutes for all that ramen was pretty good. Nine minutes, 30 seconds in. That chicken was pretty darn good, by the way. But now we're working on, this is salmon? Salmon, right. Okay, salmon, let's do it. This salmon has like a cream cheese on it, I think, and it is pretty good. Uh, nice with the pickles on it, too. All done. The sitting during challenges is for the birds. I don't know how people do it. Oh, I'd much rather be kneeling. 14 10. All right, 16, 16, still got plenty of time. Let's get this last sandwich down. This is the uh, beef Cuban style sandwich. The bread is very good on all these sandwiches and the burger too, but ooh, there is so much butter all throughout this challenge, which makes it of course very good, but we're almost there. Okay, last bite. Ooh, all done. minutes and 53 on mine, which I am very happy with. It is not the record. Like I said, uh, the record was by Xiao Hui. 10 minutes and like one second, which is nuts. My only uh, regret is that I got all of that orange juice. I should have gotten a uh, Coke Zero or, or even a beer or anything else. When I ordered it, I didn't know that it was 1.4 liters. Uh, but I'm still happy with it because it was very good and helped get everything down. But all of that food was so good. I've got to say, I know Este Dia, a uh, Cuban restaurant, they, they're probably most known for their sandwiches, but that freaking burger that I started out with uh, had like all of my favorite stuff on it. Loved that there was jalapenos, uh, the strawberry jam, uh, just how they cooked the beef. Uh, USDA meat, uh, all of that was just so good. So love the burger. And then as far as the four sandwiches, I'm gonna go with just the straight up gangster pork Cuban sandwich uh, as my favorite, but also love the salmon. Uh, and then even of course, love the sides. Great fries, uh, chicken tenders, those chicken wings. Everything was delicious, so I was really happy uh, that I got to attempt this challenge. We got it all set up last night. So big thank you to everybody with Estadia uh, for having me in to try this challenge. It was overall victory number 1,185. Uh, win number three here in Taiwan. Overall victory in Taiwan number seven. The next video will feature a challenge in Seoul, South Korea. So if you like this video, be sure to watch either this one or this one. I know you will like those as well, but I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Win before you begin.